Hello and welcome to Talking Tech for your home-based business. We all know that our business runs much better and you can be way more productive when you use the right systems and tools. I'm Michelle Gwynn and I'm here to not only show you some really cool tools for your business, but also how to use them. The content in these videos are my own opinions and I'm here to introduce you to tools that have made an impact on my productivity and my business. Today, we're going to be talking about Otter AI. Now remember to like and share this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you always have the latest and greatest information on the best tools and systems for your business. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I discovered this app when I was going to a lot of seminars. I do a lot of personal development and training and coaching. And so I attend a lot of events and for me to be able to say, get feedback from some people, um, you know, if you go to a mastermind, you're in there, you're asking questions, you're getting feedback from people. And it's not always easy for you to sit and take notes while you're getting that feedback. So this application allows you to turn it on and record the voices. Well, it doesn't actually record the voice. It actually transcribes the um, whatever someone is saying to you. So it basically types out everything that someone's saying back to you. So if you're in a meeting, if you're in a, um, a school situation where you have to take notes and really get detailed on um, you know, what you've heard and in order to be able to study or give feedback or just remember something that someone said to you, this is the application for you. It's also great for if you're a coach and you're in a coaching session with someone and they want written um, feedback from you or written transcript of the coaching session, you can use this application to provide that for them. So the uh, ways to use this are really uh, unlimited and it really will help you out so, so much. So let's get started. Now, I initially, when I started using this, I downloaded the app on my phone. It is available on Android and iOS, and it's also available on your computer. So if you're on a Zoom call with someone, you can go ahead and start this up on your computer and it'll record through your speakers and you'll be set to go. If that doesn't work, you can always take your phone, open the app on your phone and uh, put it next to your speaker and it does the same thing. Now. This is the home screen once you get logged, once you go to um, the otter.ai link, and I will go ahead and put the link down in the description box below so you have the information on how to get access to it so you don't have to remember specifically. So this is the home screen that you'll see when you, uh, when you get started. And I wanna go over, as usual, I try to tell you, you know, all the options as far as pricing and everything else that are involved in using these systems. So this one does, again, have a free as well as a paid monthly subscription. So let me go to the pricing section so you can see what that looks like. So the free basic monthly subscription is really all I've ever used this for and it allows you to record, download, and I'll show you how to do all of this. And it includes 600 minutes. So 600 minutes per month, which usually is quite enough for most people. Now, if you decide that you need more of that or you need more features, there's the 1299 Pro Choice, and that is billed monthly, and then the $30 and so on. I think most people who are going to use this app on occasion will be completely fine with the basic free version. If you find yourself using it more and more, say in a coaching business or other opportunities, then go ahead and subscribe to the monthly pro version. That's your choice. So again, the free gives you 600 minutes. 
Now, here's one limitation actually that I have found with this is it only allows you to record 40 minutes at a time. So if you're on, say, a, um, a summit or an online thing, or if you're in a class that lasts for more than 40 minutes that you want to get the transcription for, you're going to have to end that recording and restart another one, which is completely doable. I've done it quite a bit, but sometimes then you lose a minute or two of uh, whatever's being said. So. If you know you're going to need more than 40 minutes, you may want to go ahead and jump up to that paid version. And there are a lot of other features that come along with it. And um, again, I use the free version, so I'm going to show you what that includes and how that works. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to where I've already logged in. And you can use your Google account as you log in, or you can create your own. It's up to you. So this is the basic home screen and the app on your phone will look pretty similar to this. So if you're using the app only version, it's going to be the same. Okay. So it's super simple. You just hit record. And once you hit record, as you can see, it's going to start typing out everything that I'm saying. And this is where you're going to get the most value for from this app. It's going to basically give you a written transcript of whatever it is that you want to um, keep a track of or key or learn or be able to refer back to again once once you need it. Okay, so I'm going to stop this recording. Now, once you stop it, you can, I'm going to say, so you can tell it will notify me when the note is done processing. This short of a note will actually probably only take a few seconds. Um, okay, so once your note has been, uh, so you've been notified that your note is done processing, this is where you can download the transcript, you can uh, take a look at it, see what it is that you want to do with it and uh, figure out where you want to send it. So at this point, we also have the option to, to change the name. So if this is a note that you want to signify as something special, you can say um, meeting uh, from today's date. And um, that way you know exactly where this note is from. So you just simply click on it, type out what you want, click off of it, and now it's updated the title of the note so that you have information from where it came from. Now when you're on the computer app, it's simple to download the file to your computer. You simply click these three buttons right here, the three uh, dots, and you do export text. Now when the export text file comes up, leave it as a txt file. I think most of us has wor have worked with this type of file in the past. It will open up on your computer in probably a notepad uh, or you can actually open it up in a Word document. It works just as well so that you can have access to this information moving forward. There is an option to include speaker names and you can add the speaker names as you like. You can include the timestamps. So when you've got a longer note, there'll be multiple speaker names and timestamps in the paragraphs as you go down. So it'll help you to distinguish sections of the note itself. So as you're going back through, um, trying to find certain things, it'll be a little bit easier to see that. If you don't want that information, you can turn those off and it'll just be one long document. You can also merge the same speaker seg segments or not, so that's an option as well. So when you are done, you're ready to go, I'm going to turn those back on, you just hit continue and the file is going to download to whichever default file location you have set on your computer for downloads. And it's quite as easy as that. Now I did say earlier in the recording that it doesn't record voice, but it actually does. And you can hit play down here and replay the voice, the voice recording of this note. 
and you can also export that voice recording as well. So you would just do that by clicking export audio. All right, so that's pretty much it. Oh, I did wanna show one more thing. If I go back into the note, if you're using your phone app, this will look very similar again, but when you click these three dots, there will be an option in here for um, when you do export, there will be an option here for you to export as an attachment. And this is great if you want to email this to yourself so you can go from your phone to your computer. If you want to save, if you use like a Google Drive or a OneDrive, you can save it to that drive and then be able to access it to your computer. So that's the easiest way I've found to get files from my phone onto my computer. I do a lot of emailing to myself, so if you've ever done that or haven't, um, I recommend it. So that's these, that's these notes. Um, it's, there's so much that can be done with this. I've even recorded myself where if I needed a written transcript of a training lesson. So I'll go ahead and record the training lesson in my voice and then run it through Otter to where it'll type everything out for me and then I can just copy and paste the text into the training document. I know there's been people probably have used it for writing a book. So if you're not a big typer or um, it just is time consuming for you or you think better just by talking, you can just talk it out and uh, Otter will go ahead and write everything out for you and there's your book. So there's really so many uses for it and um, it's such a useful tool. I do recommend to you that if you're recording other people that you let them know that you're recording this and get their permission um, just in case you know there's a problem some people don't want to be recorded so just let people know that you are in fact recording and uh, creating a transcript of their comments and feedback. Uh, so that's it. That's Otter AI. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with everyone. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the latest and greatest information on the best tools and systems for your business moving forward. Until next time.